All right, usually I take a few days to get this video out, or at least I try to, but the true awakening for Gaffer, um, I, I usually, I say usually like four times, that's terrible writing. Uh, I make these videos to already be making kind of a, a review of the character. Now I've already used the character enough that I'm like, okay, what, what are my more concise thoughts than, you know, the first day? The first day, we're, we're hopping in and checking it out. But at this point, I've already used Gaffer like a decent chunk. I've, you know, faced him, whatever. So, what are my opinions on the guy and uh, whatnot? The team, the Sins team is coming in with a striking 270k. I'm not even using like max style CC links. I'm just using, I mean, get, uh, does she get better CC with Ascanor? She does not. Well, I guess I won't use that then. And the Sins team now, even without an LR, it has like insane CC because it has two base UR characters on it. And I mean, you can, I guess, do that with uh, any team, right? You can just put, I mean, the Arthur team, right? You can put Arthur as, you know, your team, your your human team. And then um, you can put Mally in the back, like he's not doing anything. But on this team, it's actually, you know, it's the team. It has true UR characters. In any case, uh, before I forget, I do have to uh, pay rent this month. So GamerSubs is dropping like a baseball themed uh, stuff today. I'm terrible at this. Horrible. And uh, if you wanna get it, use code MAG. Link in the description. 10% off. I know nothing about baseball. He didn't debuff me. I've seen people run this. I guess I should also give it a try. The... King, Galfer, because you got the shield, so it makes it less bad to go second with Galfer. I have a feeling that Galfer, I feel weird about his rank up, you know, because rank up hasn't been in the meta for a while now. I think that the biggest reason why is that cards are good on their own. They don't need to be ranked up. But when it happens that you get like a level 2 card, it's pretty nice. And but like using a whole card to rank up feels wasteful in today's like PvP age. So I, I still feel awkward about using Gaffer. That's how I feel. He is definitely good, but not festival good. You know what I mean? I don't know, there's been f characters throughout the years that have been like this, where... Why even use Merlin? See, the thing the thing about this team right here, like Galfer and King, is that I can see why. You got the basic stats from King's shield, and you got the basic stats from Galfer's passive. But... <laughs> where is the debuffing for, for Merlin's Holy Relic, you know? Merlin's Holy Relic is so good. The damage reduction is very impactful if you combine it with Bond's passive. Super, super impactful. I just noticed they also have socks. Dude, they sell everything. It's Does it say 69? It does, doesn't it? No. Is that that's the, the GamerSup's logo. It's kinda <laughs> Okay. Uh so this is not a should you summon. I these days I feel so weird about even making those videos because no character is useless these days. You know what I mean? Like what care? I'm I'm trying to like there have been useless characters, but it's really hard for me to think of a character that has released recently that I can tell you like that was a complete waste of space. The most recent I can think like that is like Green Ludosio. And even he was like meta at the highest tier because I mean he was slightly better than regular Margaret in that context for the, that current meta. They don't last very long though, so you know. Telling people to skip Galfer, I think is the objectively correct thing to say. But it still feels weird, because, like, at the same time, 
I'm like, man, skipping R for, you know, now looks pretty good, but at the time it didn't, you know? So I don't want it to be the opposite where, like, like right now I'm thinking like, Gelfer is good, but he is not going to be anniversary good. And anniversary comes out in two months. I would rather tell people doing two rotations for anniversary is more worth it, but I think having a copy of Gelfer is good. I was kind of busy today, so I didn't get the Demonic Beast video done for Gelfer. That one takes a little longer. Uh, but I think it's going to be pretty good for the Demonic Beasts, except the new one. Which is like, cool, but <laughs> definitely not game changing. Like, PvE wise, maybe he's gonna be good for like a, a very specific final boss strategy. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. But is he though? Uh, perhaps. It just feels like. It really feels. Like, everything that people have been saying about this character should have been LR Red Galfer or LR Halloween Galfer. But instead they made it a festival, you know what I mean? Like, LRs should be the old character, but better. And this Galfer feels like the old Galfers, but better. So he just feels like an LR. Which is weird. It, it's kind of the same thing that happened with Halloween Galfer when he came out. Like, Halloween Galfer was just a kind of better version of Red Galfer. And I think that they just don't know what to do with Galfer. Because the other festival was pretty mid at launch. You know? And then the Relic was kind of cool, but it's one of those festivals that wasn't very impactful because they didn't go with the rank up stuff. And now I guess they're trying to be like, okay, guess we're gonna go with the rank up stuff because that worked. It just feels like they don't know what, what else to do with Gaffer other than ranking up. It worked for the first time, like, for sure. The gimmick with ranking up with Gaffer made it, like... Okay, I can see in lore why Gaffer would be the one to do this, you know what I mean? But did it have to be a card? Couldn't it, couldn't it be, like, a passive thing? I don't know. They could... I think they could have... Put it in there. Somewhere. Somehow. Like, this whole condition that he he has to be in a sin scene for his thing to work, you know? Like, he only gives basic stats to sins, which I thought that they were moving out of, you know, being only one category. Like, they they made Bon have multiple categories he works with, and then they made Liz do that, and Melly kind of. And Galfrey kind of goes back to that, you know, that it's one team. You know, it's sins. And it, you look at it, and it's like, yeah, he really only wants to be run of Sins, because a huge part of his passive is the self-rank up. And that only really works on Sins, because that's the team that has three different races. If you're going to be running him on full unknown, well, that's full unknown. I don't know, I feel like this character's kind of awkward. And I have serious doubts that he is going... Oh, I should have done the... whatever. I have serious doubts that he's gonna survive post-anniversary in the PvP matter, but, I mean, PvP is one thing. Going back to ranking up could be good in PvE, but not for the current Demonic Beast. So... I need to try him on the Demon King fight. The thing is that the, I don't know, the Demon King fight right now has a very very efficient team. I would have to s somehow slot Gaffer in. No! I think they could have given him a better card. You know, like, taking off ult gauge is whatever. It can be useful, don't get me wrong. But it just felt like they put it in there because they had to give him something. That had to do with support instead of being like a damage thing. Which makes sense, but I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I lost this match because I just This is the cool thing about ranking up. You don't see level threes these days. <laughs> Except Mally's, right? And you get used to level threes being his norm. 
Like a level three single target from Bond, that wouldn't happen without rank up, right? I'm not against rank ups. Like, again, I do feel like it's kind of awkward in today's like meta, but it's. Uh... Can I double kill him? He has Tarmel Link, right? No, it was her. No, he does have Tarmel Link. I feel like I could. I should have done single target, Bond single target. Nah. Bond? Damn, Bond. You were really the showing off. Unfortunately, Tarmel Link uh, full healed him. It's like if a new sin was to come out for anniversary, Galfer is being replaced, not Bond. Bond is just goaded. No, maybe. Maybe I'm being too harsh on Galfer, but I just feel like being released in this awkward time pre anniversary does not help him, dude. It really doesn't help him. Not the revive. Whatever. I have uh, done something in between last match and now, so I have no idea what I was talking about. And you know, I think that's okay. I, I, I think I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about, so I think. In any case, I don't think Gaffer is making any big splashes in the game. He is just another release. It really, it really could have been a regular seasonal character. You know how Gelda just released as a regular 600 banner, and she is arguably the best PvP character in the game, neck and neck with Demon King Meliodas. Gaffer could have been another 600 banner. What's so special about him? I mean, he's UR, I guess, which means not much really on the grand scheme of things. I think that the decision of making him tied to cleansing debuffs is so dumb because the character you're running with him already cleanses one debuff from each character, which a lot of the times that's all you're gonna get. So getting those stats is like not even that feasible. Oh no, a lot of weird design decisions I think they did with this character that Gaffer could have been done better. I think. Oh, he didn't lose the ult from DK. Whatever, he probably doesn't even want to shot me. Oh, he didn't. He doesn't have space. Doesn't have space. Oh well. But I will say this, right? Since. Because of Gaffer. More because of Mali, but now that Galfer is released, and now since is a more actual complete team, you know, like before, I felt like you know, King was just tagging along, you know, New Year's King was kind of just tagging along, and now since is a real team with full festivals, since is potentially. Potentially best team in the game, maybe still worse than Gelda. Yeah, maybe still worse than Demons of Gelda, I'd say. But now, they probably will remain relevant until anniversary. So, hey, you got you got two months. Yeah, true. <laughs>